What's going on guys, it's Savage with another tutorial on how to basically pay, play, not pay, play Battlefront 1 in full 1080p HD or just full HD for Battlefront, for Battlefront 1, 2004 classic. And um, yeah, this is for disc users mostly because if you have Battlefront 1 2004 on Steam, then this doesn't really apply to you because you will basically already have the in-game setting of playing at 1080p uh, resolution. So, yeah. But for those of you who do not have Battlefront 1 2004 on Steam or Origin or whatnot, if you have the disc version or maybe cracked version of it, I mean, I don't really know about the cracked version too much of it, but say if you already have that and the regular disc version installed, then this tutorial will help you play Battlefront 1 in full 1080p HD or just full HD of your monitor. Um, you can read all this and probably figure it out, you know, just by reading it, but this video is a tutorial on how to download it and install it correctly. And um, yes, you do need a few other things like 7-zip and uh, Notepad++, that's what it's called I believe, I don't know. And of course you'll need the actual resolution launcher itself. Battle Belks custom resolution launcher. This came out years ago, apparently. And um, yeah, this is really helpful for all the Battlefront 1 people. So um, yeah, if you don't know how to, you know, download this or sign up to this website, it's really easy. It's super easy. Star Wars Battlefront Gamers. This is where I get all the Battlefront 1 mods from. and Well, mostly. And ModDB, of course. But if this doesn't work for you, like, at all, for some odd reason, then I'll try to put this link in on my db so it can be a lot easier to download or media fire but i'm still going to put this in the description for you guys you know to easily access this website but all you have to do is just make an account it's super easy and you'll be able to access any download uh, any download of battlefront one mods and whatnot but anyways yeah but yeah you'll download this i've already have this downloaded that's why i have seven zip pulled up of this and it's really easy and um yeah make sure you have either seven zip or rent WinRAR, jeez, I suck at saying it, WinRAR or 7-Zip, but I prefer 7-Zip personally. It's super easy on how to install it. I've, I've explained it, and I'm pretty sure there's YouTube videos on how to install 7-Zip. So, yeah, it's really easy. But, yeah, here's the link to the actual resolution downloader. Oh, hold up, I got a video, t I got a text. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, here's the link to the actual resolution downloader, and, yeah, it should be easy to go from there. And you download it, 7-Zip have your 7-zip installed and uh, first things you want to do you want to open up your files and then you go to local C drive or whichever one you have Battlefront 1 installed on for your disk program files x86 not for program files but you go to the x86 one then you go to LucasArts and then you go to Battlefront 1 so and then you go to game data and once you're in here just stay in here don't do anything else just stay in here like I said this PC Local C drive, program program files, of course Lucas Arts Battlefront One game data, and you'll go here. And all you do really is take all of these files, like all of these, even the README if you want to, but you don't need the README. But I I would recommend this if you still don't know anything else to read the README just in case. But you'll take all these files and just paste it in the game data. That's all you do. That's legit. All you all you do right here for this step. And the next step, like I said, you do need to edit this with Notepad because you don't want to just start this up all willy-nilly. You need to find out, you know, your screen resolution and whatnot just to be sure. If you do have a 1080p monitor, you know, then it should just, it should be all right. But if it's not, then be sure to right-click on here, go to edit with Notepad++. See, this is what I normally would do because you can just do it with regular Notepad, but sometimes it doesn't really save correctly. So that's why I use edit with Notepad++. So what's I, what I do here, all right, so once you open this up, you would change this basically to, you know, either 1920 by 1080, but if you don't have a 1080p monitor or if, you, or if you don't know what your actual full resolution is for your own monitor, what you could do is completely just, you know, minimize everything. And you, what you could do is right click on your desk, your display settings for your desktop, which you could do. And then you'll find out what your maximum resolution is. So whichever one's recommended, already displayed, you know, whichever one's recommended for you. Say if you have a 1600 by 900 monitor, you can still use that. 
And so, yeah, this is how you find out what your resolution is for your monitor. But, um, yeah, so it can work on literally, literally anything, on literally anything. So what I would do is change this to 1920 and change the height to 1080. So all I have to do is change that. And what I do is save. I legit just press the save button in here. It's right here, the save button. I press that and I can just exit out of that. And um, I can exit out the settings as well. And um, I'll go back to my files and that should be it. My Now what I have to do actually is just launch through here. And once I launch through here, it should just boot up the game. And once you boot up the game, it's gonna be in the regular, you know, 800 by 600 thing. So it's not gonna be like the HD remastered stuff, but you actually have to go in game. Let's actually show you guys. Let's demonstrate through here right now. Um, so I click on this. Of course, you have to run as administrator. You know, always run as administrator for everything that you're doing. So once you boot up your game and um, launch through the, you know, Star Wars Battlefront 1 launcher, this is what it's supposed to look like. Just the regular, you know, menu. If you go to your options and then video options, and it's going to say, you know, this, you know, for the whole thing. See, this is as high as it goes. It doesn't go any higher for me. But if you launch this through the launcher and if you do everything correctly, if you actually go in in a match, that's when it'll actually change to 1080p. So, for example, um, let me just go to Geonosis and uh, yeah, let's just launch it through here. And as you can tell right now, it's actually in 1080p now, the um, the loading screen and whatnot. So um, yeah, if you do everything correctly in this video, and then yeah, that's how you get Battlefront One in 1080p on the disc version. For those of you who have the disc version, so yeah. So if you have like the Steam version, this doesn't really apply to you, so you don't have to worry. But um, here's the game at full 1080p resolution for me. So yeah, you can literally do this on anything if you put in just whatever your screen resolution is for anything. So it really doesn't matter. But um, yeah, this is it. This is how you played in full 1080p HD. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully this was helpful. And uh, yeah, thank you, Soupy for helping me out a little bit with the steam version of this just to be sure about that just to be sure but um yeah this doesn't really amount to you if you have the steam version but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys later peace